My research topic is exploring podcast integrated language learning. You may be wondering why I have chosen exactly this topic. It's because since school time, uh, in textbooks, when we had listening part exercises, I didn't enjoy them much uh, because uh, they were sometimes not interesting, not relevant, and I thought maybe uh, including podcasts and investigating this topic in depth at university will be a great, great tool. It will be a new approach in ELT classes. Uh, so the this the present study um, investigates um, potential benefits of podcasts in ELT classes. So the abstract, the purpose of the present study was to discuss ways of giving English as a foreign language learners podcast lectures in addition to the traditional lectures and to explore and discover useful information that podcasts offer as a learning and or training tool in order to better understand and improve learning and teaching methods. Keywords are podcast, computer assisted language learning, FANEM, RSS, BBC, Learning English and ELT. introduction. Uh, in the era of technology, many computer-assisted language learning tools have emerged and education has adopted many of tools already. Uh, one of remarkable tools is podcasts. The use of mobile phone technologies bring new promises for the teaching and learning of languages too. And <clears throat> the podcast open broader doors to enhance language teaching process and to effectively aid student learning. The statement of the problem. Uh, we know that English is so widely spoken, it has been referred to as a global language. While English is not an official language around the world, uh, and it is mostly taught as a second language, uh, various, due to it various teaching methods emerged to make learning comprehensible yet exciting process. In order to achieve effective communicative skills, we can take advantages of technology for attaining high language skills. Uh, in Kazakhstan, the implementation of podcasts in language teaching methodology together with students' perception and attitude remain unknown. Uh, consequently, the purpose of the research is to discover what possibilities are offered in application of podcasts in ELT classes. Uh, the main aim of study is to study the population, their beliefs, attitudes, behaviors, their opinion about this innovative approach, uh, what they would like to add and how do you think uh, should teachers include teach podcasts in the uh, lesson and what are the ways to successfully implement it in the lessons. Mm -hmm. um, the significance of the paper is that it offers, as I said before, innovative approach in Kazakhstan ELT classes and uh, <clears throat> It suggests ways, the content, uh, the duration of that podcast should be uh, sorted out. Uh, the significance of the approach is that podcasts can be selected according to their interest and help to promote autonomous learning outside the classroom. Students can easily get authentic podcast materials from internet and this allows them to engage in plenty of listening practices. Here are research questions. First one is why are podcasts beneficial for both acquisition and broadening general knowledge? What podcasts offer if integrated into language classes? And how and why should teachers use podcasts in ELT classes? Now I'll briefly talk about. Uh, now I'll briefly will tell about tell about literature review. The researcher reviewed several forms of previous data and research papers that in identify the potential benefits of podcasts as a language and teaching teaching and learning tool. Uh, according to, uh, first of all, let me define what podcasting technology is. Uh, podcasting technology became popular around 2004. Since then, uh, people. Uh, People from business, from art, uh, even in education, has adopted it to present their messages, their news, and <clears throat> since then, uh, podcasting became very user-friendly tool that for its portability, which means that you can study or listen to it anytime and anywhere.
According to Rosal Aguilera, uh, when podcasting initially became popular, researchers became interested in how it could be used for educational purposes. They quickly identified that podcasting was a convenient and easy way to, f to use. They hypothesized that it would be both attractive, motivating for students. Um, <clears throat> this the another research the researchers, Ashton Hein Brooks, declared that podcasts help to encourage learning at students' own pace so that students regulate the pace of their learning uh, and they can also listen to it as, much, as many times as they want at, until they have fully understood the meaning. Uh, <clears throat> the last uh, previous research were about attitudes toward podcasts. We know that language learning is affected by many factors and the most considerable factor will ensure, that will ensure progress is a positive attitude from students. Educators from, from time to time find it hard to motivate their students to actively involve in activities inside and outside the classroom, but the implication of podcasts should be considered as one possible solution which can have an, which can have an immediate impact. Podcasts have the potentiality to boost to boost both intrinsic and extrinsic motivation among students. It's according to O'Brien and Hegel-Geimer's uh, research. The, the next part of research is methodology. The challenge of the recent present, day, present research was to unfold the promising assistance this approach offer for Kazakh uh, English uh, as a second language learners and to suggest ways how to apply it inside the classroom. The researcher applied qualitative research design and the data was uh, gained, gathered through in-depth interview and focus group discussion. The study was conducted with 22 students, 22 students of Suriman Dimitri University with intermediate and upper intermediate level of English language proficiency. Participants were third-year students and they were randomly selected. The individuals were chosen by probability random sampling to respond to required questions. Materials used for the research was BBC Learning English uh, podcast series. Uh, it was chosen because it offers available user-friendly mat user -friendly materials. It also offers uh, plenty of information, uh, new discoveries, facts, interviews, so students not only benefit linguistically, but also learn and broaden their general knowledge. Instruments. At the beginning, the researcher interviewed some of the participants face-to-face -face interview in order to get their views of and let them state their prior uh, podcast experience. Along with the interview, focus group discussion was held to obtain information directly and to discuss the issue in depth. Mm, validity. To increase the validity of research, both interview and formative group discussion was conducted. It means that researcher observed not only one individual statements, but a whole group opinion was taken into consideration. This, the instruments were reviewed by teachers specialized in language teaching and curriculum, so the content validity was confirmed. The researcher collaborated with participants to examine if the questions were relevant enough and clear to them, so the face validity was confirmed. The next step was procedure. The study started on the 10th of March and ended on 8th of April. After students were selected, they were given inf informed consent form to get their permission to be informed about current research, to be to be uh, to act as participants. Uh, five students of B2 level intermediate level was selected for face-to-face -face interview. Those students were asked how podcasts can be successfully integrated. The answers varied according to each people's own perspective. So, in order to come to common conclusion, uh, after uh, three weeks of podcast listening practice was held. After each session, which lasted for ten minutes, a formative group discussion has taken place uh, in order to uh, discuss the issue, to explore it in depth, and to gather the information. Uh, there also at the end of the procedure, the research offered a list of popular language learning podcasts that students can take and learn. Uh, furthermore, um, participants proposed ideas on how podcasts can be integrated into lesson, indicating its content, duration, uh, time, and level of language.
assumptions. There was an assumption that participants will not act, that that not all of the participants will uh, will actively participate in research. However, most of the participants showed interest in this new approach. Uh, they were excited about it. If it will be included in the lesson, and it's he they said that. <clears throat> It's a great tool to enhance lang language li skills. Limitations. At the beginning of the study, the researcher approached to number of teachers specialized in ELT. However, most of them rejected uh, the research, the discussion uh, to be conducted with their students. The reason behind it was that students may not be able to provide good arguments and state their opinion due to the lack of fluency in English. After participants with sufficient level of English selected, amount of time for study was limited. Uh, however, uh, um, however, the whole process went well and researcher was able to um, gain enough information to show the results. So the results are were first of all the results that were taken from uh, observation and focus group discussion are follows uh, using podcasts which is related to topic or unit of lesson replacing listening part with podcasts one at a time uh, assigning listening to podcasts uh, outside the classroom so the teacher is is the one who selects uh, the content the type and the topic of podcast so that students can learn it outside the classroom listen to it whenever they are another way uh, that was suggested by participants is choosing latest popular yet informative podcasts also uh, teachers should offer a list of educational language learning podcasts so the students will be informed about it uh, since not all students uh, at university uh, have since not only university not all students university know about the existence of podcasts at all so I think it will be the one it will be the teacher English language teacher who will inform their student uh, that podcast ha can help them to learn to listen um, <clears throat> and improve their listening skills. Discussion. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it must be declared, uh, it can be declared that most of young people are still not familiar with podcasts and that it should be encouraged through social media nowadays, through mobile applications, uh, from teachers. And to my surprise, most of the students showed interest they were enthusiastic about using it after they learned some insight about it from this research uh, <clears throat> also what they were suggested is that teachers should also follow latest channels and share with students with their reflections too and the last part is conclusion. Uh, the research aimed to find out ways for integrating podcasts into ELT classes. So ways were uh, is that is the is the teacher who uh, helps who first takes the first step into informing their their students about existence of podcasts, and the second way was. Um, Choosing the uh, choosing the podcast that is related to their lesson to their unit. Uh, the third way was uh, encouraging young people to listen to to, to podcasts through social media. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, we know that nowadays, when young people have more contact with mobile phones, podcasts are believed to be best suitable learning tool. Uh, and it was also. Um, proved by previous studies by previous researchers that it ha it shows positive results uh, so it can be concluded that lessons should include more authentic listening audios uh, than traditional listening parts and the alternative way alternative tool for it is podcasts which are good practicing tool in current times
थैंक यू